Okay, so here we have kind of corrective cut. So what we're gonna do here is he wants him down to one. I'm gonna taper the back. But here, if you see, everything is cut very high. Can you see here? See to this point, also to this point. Back is also cut very high. You see that? Right there? Okay, right here. So the idea is, and the top has no texture, so it just lays flat, as you can see. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. Like no texture, no volume, nothing. Here you just have a heavy line, as you can see, right? So what I like to do on these type of haircuts, I like to grow this part and do number one around in this area, right? But leave this growing, right? Even if you still have this undercut, you just gotta taper this so you don't have this heavy line. But it's okay to have an undercut here, as long as you have some hair here. So if he pushes it back, it'll almost look like a blended cut, right? Here, same thing. I mean, we're gonna cut today to this point, but underneath we're gonna leave. This haircut will take probably two, three haircuts to really get it to what we want, right? So we can connect the back with the top. And then on, on this side, I also want to grow some hair here, right? And then cut one here. As for the top to remove this flat, like we want to create some texture. So we'll just, you know, create some texture inside and it will be better for this hair, it will give him some volume. So we'll do it today and then we'll record it. We'll try to record it each time for the next three haircuts. See beginning and uh, end how, they, how this haircut should really look like. So I'm gonna section the top off and then we'll start cutting. Yeah, ready? Easy on, easy off for the top. Okay, so I'm gonna start with one and a half here, as usually, and exit right here. So I can leave this hair here grow. See, we uh, did one and a half first and set the base for our haircut. We'll cut it closer here, we'll let this longer. So now this will grow. And we're gonna start our fade now with one. So we have one and a half, we have one, now we're just going to connect it. So you get a haircut every five weeks, you said? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Cool, so basically, next time you come for a haircut, this haircut will look a lot better because a lot of this will be grown mm -hmm. and probably will be very close to where we want it. Okay, good. And then uh, probably the haircut after that will be really perfect.
Yo, man. I thought you didn't want anybody to know about it. I'm trying to get another opinion just to see if my. my what opinion is right. I'll show you the opinion how I took him down. What he does is takes you down and then puts you on blast. What? You see, I'm being nice to these guys when we grapple, you know? I let them, you know, feel good, use their strength, get around, see what they can do. Uh, here, here are two witnesses I have you. Ask me. All right, so we have a taper from zero here on the back to one and one and a half, and then we left this part long, right? Mm -hmm. So now, even if you look over there in the mirror, right? Look in the mirror, you see how we get a nice clear shape in this, yeah? So let's see what we can do with that. Guys, after this haircut, we are going outside. We go right now. Hold on, hold on, let's finish the clients. Yo, you can have, you can have... So this, this is the question, actually, during the consultation, I, I kind of like overlooked, right? I'm not sure, do you actually comb your hair like this? Or do you push it more to the side? I push it more to the side. Okay, so then it's good. I, I, I was, what I assumed was correct. So because if you do push it like this, it doesn't look so bad though. Right? Even though like this should have been connected here. I like okay. this connector, right? Okay. But if you do push it to the side, then it needs some volume, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my blending shears, right? Start from half, trim it, and also create some volume in his hair. My scissors are running for me. Now, I'm starting from about half since he has a fine hair, so I'm not really thinning his hair. I'm trimming his hair on the first place, and in that I'm also creating some short hairs from halfway up, so it creates some volume in his hair, so his hair doesn't like just fall flat. Come on, man! I don't. You, I thought you say you don't want to show nobody how I beat you. So now you came to terms. It's okay, right? Is it okay if I share it? Ask me. Yeah, yeah. Is it okay if I share it? MC, if you really want to share, man, that's gonna make you happy. You're gonna sleep better. Do it, but I don't think it's fair. I, but listen, I'm just asking you, is it okay? If you say no, then no. Uh, yeah. If he makes you sleep better at night? He probably make me sleep better. <laughs> oh, but hold on, I'm recording here, the whole world knows. Fair, I don't think it's fair, it's supposed to be, you know? Yeah, full fight. Full like dollar ninety-nine. <laughs> ninety nine. see the whole fight. What fair. are the people like you called? The people that do that sports, you know. Cosmetics? Yeah, yeah. Say, look how, whatever that thing is, got beat by a barber. Why don't we, why don't we put a little competition on the side, a little, little body weight? No, just say like how a barber how beat a... Uh, calisthetic? Calisthetic? What is it? Calisthetic. 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 Trainer. Trainer. That's a trainer. And create some volume. You can also already see how his hair is, has a little bit more volume than before, but let's... Blow dry and also when you blow dry it here, when you blow dry it, you just want to hit the roots. Do you blow dry your hair or no? No. Never? Once in a while, but not too often. So if you do, just hit the roots a little bit. Okay. That's it. By hitting the roots a little bit, right? Not much. It'll create some volume. It'll just make your hair stand up. See? I, I take sections and I just touch on your hair. 
They'll make a huge difference on your hair though. Okay. Huh? What is it? What do you train? Jiu-jitsu? Jiu-jitsu, grappling, I mean, uh, all kinds of things for 20 years. Huh? You can include that in the caption. I'm not gonna put that in the caption. I'm just gonna say a barber. A barber? Yeah. <laughs> but why? What's a big deal if a, a 20, 20 year uh, Listen, I'm an average guy. Huh? Uh, no, it just sounds better. How about this? I put like a world champion barber faces uh, off with a uh, what kind of trainer? Calisthenic. Calisthenic trainer, there you go. And beats him in seconds. Perfect. What, what type of contest? If you beat me in, in push ups or pull ups, you post it. No, it's not fair. It's not fair. Is it fair? I beat him fair and square. Yes. Well, are we talking with assistance or without assistance? <laughs> Listen, I think it's fair like this. You can post it if you pay me in one other thing. All right, how does that look though? That's good. See, if you look over there yeah. now, we have some volume. But the volume is there right now because I put some, uh, you know, volume in the roots. But even when he doesn't blow dry, you will see if you just air dry or towel dry and push it, push it to the side. It's gonna look nice. It's gonna have some volume because of the texture we put in it. Actually, one more challenge. Huh? One more challenge. What challenge? Whatever you want. Please. All right. Are you sure? Whatever I want. Except arm wrestling. Okay, no arm wrestling, I beat you in that already, and I took you down already, so okay. Uh, how much time do you want for training to prepare for a challenge? Is it uh, like a uh, week, two weeks enough, how much? Hold on, I came, I came to your role, now you gotta come to mine. Alright. Right? That's okay. Fair. Fine. Your so, role I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you two. What? Let's see who can kick higher. Who can kick higher? Yes. Now, I, don't, I don't train this, you can train this for 20 minutes. <laughs> there you go, so challenge rejected. Oh, All right, let, let's see who can do that. With scissors? Yeah. We have a challenge. We're gonna do skin paint with scissors. Skin paint with scissors. Look at the skin paint with scissors. I'll take that challenge. Are you rejecting that challenge too? MC, I came into your room and come to mine. <laughs> it's only fair that way. Yeah, but how is it fair, man? You are lifting 130 pounds, I'm lifting 190. Everybody has a right weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Too. MC, if you beat me, you can include that in the caption. 200 pounds versus 130. So he said any challenge you want, and he rejected it. You guys all heard three of my challenges. It's not fair, man. All right, so the only thing I think you can really beat me is in running. Well, I'll tell you guys how fast it you guys are around the building. Sure. And look, that's not a kid. He's in prime, and I'm just like on the edge of my prime. Oh. That's like me. That's like me taking down a midget and like bragging about it. All right. It's so right. Right, let's uh, one second. Let's, and then so let's see what we did here. Recap. So we left this longer here, right? I want this to grow, so he can have some hair coming this way. Same thing on this side. I also left this here longer, and I thin it, thin this out a little bit. So it kind of just looks a little better like that. Right, so not having that line while this grows, so we're gonna connect it eventually, right? Same thing here. His hair is slightly uh, fine, so I'm gonna use, uh, what is, this is a uh, light element, uh, defining whip. Okay, brain, brain freeze. All right, uh, basically, it will give me some definition, medium hold, and it does not weigh the hair down. So it's a good product for this type of hairstyle. We're gonna spread it to the hair like this. Now you can just comb it like this. It will look just nice. You can use a, a white tooth comb. Okay. And kind of like just, if you wanna create, create some, you know, separation through your hair, like a little bit more, you know, texture look. Sure. When you did it with your fingers. It look good, so yeah. yeah. We mix it with a finger, you know, like mess it up with the fingers, comb it to the side. And there you go, here is your finished look.
I think it looks very good, sir. Yep. Thank you. It is my pleasure. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is MC. Please don't forget to subscribe. 24th and 25th of this month, I have a two-day seminar. MCBarber.com, my website, for more information. Thank you so much.